Go to your search browser and type uiflow.m5stack.com. This start menu will come up. Click start and it will show you all the features and show you how to use UIflow 2. We will show you the relevant buttons for this video and how to use your M5 stack to its full potential. We will let you go through this at your own pace so you fully understand the app. The lower area is for your projects, but we will click the plus button to create a new project. You will now need to sign in or create an account. Go to the button next to the save button and click it. This will take you to the home page. Then open a new project. Enter a name at the top and click the device you own. Then select confirm. There are lots of blocks to use here. There is the power system and screen section, followed by the general Python blocks, and then the hardware specific blocks. Now we are going to click on the pen tool just to the right of the planet icon on the main bar across the top of the page. That will bring up a UI page where you can design UI for your device. We are going to drag a title onto the device and then set the font to a bigger size. Use the offset tool to make it look centered and then change the background to red.
If you want to change the text with code, then you can go to the title section in UI. Then you can use the block to show or hide, change the color, change the offset, or change the text. Get your core 2 and use a USB cable to plug it into your computer. Click run on the UI Flow web app. Select the port labeled USB single serial and then click connect. This will allow UI Flow to connect to the core 2. Now click the run button in the shell that comes up in the app. If you want to download a program so you can use it anywhere without your computer, then click the button next to the run button and wait for it to say info finish syncing. Wait for another message and then just pull the USB cable out of your computer. This is a file manager for your device. If this is where you can upload pictures and short sounds to your